It allows you freedom to move around the environment in any type of way that you would normally move. Um, the other cool thing in here is that you can move in ways that you're not used to moving. So um, if I walk over towards this building, um, I can climb up the wall and we'll just go up into the air. So again, hopefully it will give you um, kind of a 3D perspective. Where are the Hallians? <laughs> you worry. <laughs> we are waiting for the Hallians. <laughs> so again, you can see now we're on top of the roof. Oh. And again, if I walk off the edge, you can see it over there. But it kind of gives you a 3D feel. Yeah. Uh, we can also um, fly around kind of like Superman. So we can just go straight up and... So we can fly? Yeah. Oh, we are flying. We can also fall down very quick. Yeah, so if we start to it's, fall down, it's cool. Uh, kind of gives you a really Ooh. good sensation. Oh, <laughs> great. <laughs> so, nice sudden stop. But a uh, pretty fun environment to see. And uh, this one, like I said, we got just a scene laid out and buildings. But uh, most of the data that we work with is like scientific data. So uh -huh. we can bring that in here and you can view it all in 3D as well. So we see things like um, uh, flow into your lungs or, um, you know, j just about anything. Balloons and weather models, um, all types of things. Cool. Kind of fun to walk around. And you see we've got a couple of things that we don't have textures for. So that's where you would see the white trees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this one's kind of set up for like, um, we could put a gun in here and make a good, good kind of first person shooter game. Oh. So that would be pretty fun. Like an FPS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's great, absolutely great. So, not sure if there's anything else that uh, anyone wants to try. But yeah, I like flying and falling. Are there any questions on this? <laughs> what we can find at the second level. <laughs> like a video game, you know. <laughs> great, great. Oh! <laughs> Perché è solamente un, un errore prospettico, serve solamente per la simulazione. So some of the research, one of the things we're looking at is how to tie this in, into the simulator we have in the other building and have the two of them have someone that could be on the ground, a pedestrian here, and see the car coming at them and that driver over there see the pedestrian here. So it's sort of an interesting uh, scenario to be able to integrate the two systems together. Yeah. Definitely cool. Very realistic. I'm sorry, very realistic. We cannot drive this car, right? Um, here you can't. Over at Cavs, you you can. Yeah. Um, they've got to set up. Uh, for the, the, the previous the, the driving simulator over there tied into this, in so that you can so that you can have well this the, yeah. the the person here would be a pedestrian in the city, uh -huh. and the driver over there could be driving that Humvee. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. And so you could, you, you, he, the driver would see him on the screen over there. Yeah. He would see the vehicle right. here oh. driving down the road. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a run but, from but, him. But we can fly, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just jump over and maybe go around. Sara, excuse me, but we can ask quali sono le applicazioni pratiche cioè arrivano tutte queste cose dove la usano? ce l'hanno detto prima? ce l'hanno detto prima? chiedilo Maria, I ask you how do you use in practical the everyday activities? um I'm not sure we use this system remember 
Remember earlier when we talked about the, the balloons? Yeah.